we're working very closely yeah, with the environment yeah, agency yeah, yeah. on the climate change though. project on the Spike okay. Island estate. We work very closely with the local community and the aim of the project is to create behavioural change within the local community and by doing projects very much like this project that we're doing here today, uh, the gardening project, Grow Cook Eat, people start to think about the place where they live, their own behaviour and how that impacts on the, on the environment where they live and um, work alongside Rob and we're also doing several other projects as well but we think this is a very important and exciting project. So are your other projects that you're doing? The groundwork are working on a project with Morkers on Allotment Society and we're making accessible community allotments so that people can learn about growing their own food. People who've never tried it before, that, I think that's the main thing. Um, they're also very keen on getting an apiary together which is for bees, so learning how to keep bees, which obviously help benefit the environment. And there's a big shortage of bees, bees are dying, and if the bees die, then there's not enough food and we all die. So it's really important to look after after the bees. And also, on Spike Island, we, we're looking about involving young people and children in an arts project around climate change, so that there's art on footpaths on a access into the estate which at the moment is really well used but it's really tatty so that's a that's something that everybody can get involved with